Welcome to my channel, detailing events throughout the decades. 1996. Wayawega Wega Derailment. It was on March 4, during the early hours of the morning, when a Wisconsin Central train, which was carrying a large quantity of hazardous chemicals derailed. The Wisconsin Central train was traveling from Stevens Point to Neha, Wisconsin, when it came to the city of Wayawega. Sixteen of the cars passed a switch without encountering any problems, but the further 37 cars behind derailed. Some of these cars contained liquefied petroleum gas, propane, and sodium hydroxide. Three of the tank cars ruptured, spilling their load of hazardous chemicals, which immediately ignited. The conductor on the train, managed to cut the train after the first nine cars, and proceeded onwards quickly informing the emergency services about the hazardous chemicals on board the tank cars. It wasn't long after the derailment that fire crews arrived on the scene. The fire and explosions could be seen for miles away, and the fire quickly spread to a nearby feeding mill and storage building. It quickly became apparent to the fire chief that the fire was beyond their capabilities, and requested surrounding fire departments to come and help. However. Around an hour after the derailment had happened, the Wisconsin Central Railroad informed the fire chief that the tank cars could only withstand around 90 minutes of fire. The situation now became a lot worse, and the fire chief quickly made the decision to pull the firefighters back from the fire, due to the risk of boiling liquid expanding vapor explosions. Because of the worsening situation, a decision was made to evacuate the entire city of Wayawega and surrounding areas. In total, around 2,300 people had to be evacuated. These residents were not allowed back to their homes for another two weeks, as the fire continued to burn. They were finally allowed back on March 20. After the derailment, the National Transportation Safety Board were called in to investigate what had caused the derailment. While investigating, they found the cause to be a broken rail within the switch. The switch is a set of points enabling trains to be guided from one track to another. They also found that the problem had gone undetected for almost a year. After the derailment, several lawsuits were filed against Wisconsin Central. In 1998, the railroad estimated that the costs from the derailment and the lawsuits were around $28 million. Luckily, no one was killed due to the derailment and resulting fire. Thank you for watching and learning about events through history. Please subscribe to my channel, to view other events throughout the decades.